How did Fujifilm survive and avoid the fate of Kodak? In nearly 2000s, rise of digital photography caused a crisis for the photographic film industry. Between 2001 and 2010, global demand dropped by 90%. Kodak, the market leader, denied the change and tried to protect their photography film business in a changing world. So it went into a 10-year spiraling decline ending in its bankruptcy in the year 2012. On the other hand, Fujifilm, which was much smaller than Kodak, was able to survive and grow through diversification of its business from only photography films to cosmetics, healthcare, imaging solutions, and document solutions, among others. But how did they do that? Wenchigataka Komori became CEO for the company in 2003. He launched a six year plan named Vision 75, aiming to save Fujifilm and regain profitability. Fujifilm knew that digital photography will not be as profitable as the technology used is easy to replicate, thus reducing barriers of entry and increasing competition. The company aimed to diversify its business and tried to capitalize on knowledge and expertise they already had and turn it into new business opportunities. They used their huge experience with collagen, a chemical used to retain film moisture, elasticity, shape, and aging. To enter into cosmetics industry as collagen was a main component in skincare cosmetics manufacturing process, and in 2006, Fujifilm launched Astolift series of skincare products. The company then expanded beyond skincare into makeup and other cosmetics. It also entered healthcare by adding medical diagnostic imaging solutions using digital camera technology. Fujifilm is now a very diversified company that is involved in several business sectors. In 2021, healthcare accounted for almost 32% of revenue, while imaging solutions account to 13% and photography represented less than 1% of the total revenue compared to over 60% in 2001. Fujifilm's ability to innovate allowed it to change and transform itself in response to the changes of the market. Fujifilm learned from this experience and established several research and development hubs that continuously work to innovate and identify new opportunities to remain competitive in a changing world. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to keep updated with our channel.